Okay. Okay. That's the wrong one. Hi, friends. Hello. Let me start with some uh, shrinking of the screen. Hold on. So they can see your faces and not all the character sheets. That's better! Shh, character sheets don't exist. Ca what characters? We are the characters. You are the characters. Um, okay, before we start, a bit of business. Uh, say hi to Leia and Luna. They're back for us. Yay! Um, we're gonna hi. play... Again. We're gonna play Scion for the first half of today, and then for the second half we're just gonna mess around. Um, to BH, I'm not ready for four hours. <laughs> um, uh, I like Wind. I like to plan around like the shenanigans that happen and uh, the the issue with okay I'm just like not that prepared it's fine uh, it doesn't matter we're just all gonna fail together because that's the fun way to live and uh, yeah. for real we're gonna improv so regardless of whether or not like you enjoy it it's it's gonna be a thing that happens uh, <laughs> we're we're gonna oh, have fun we're, gonna have, we're fun. gonna have fun that's what I'm yep indeed. Um, so if you don't know, we're starting our campaign of Scion today. It is the first day and, uh, it's a brand new system for me. I believe, uh, it's a brand new system definitely for Leia. Luna, you read it, but didn't play it or? Never played it. I am familiar with the storyteller systems though. I have occasionally listened to my wife talk about it. <laughs> Sometimes I listen. Sometimes I'm more familiar with Hunter the Vigil, but I Vigil, but I do know Scions a little bit now. Hmm. Um. But we're all fond of uh, mythology, so that's good enough for us. And uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna play for two hours today, and then the other two hours we're gonna. I don't know yet. We'll find out. But oh, we're well, back. I was gonna Dream like. It. You won't get caught. I was gonna write a thing, uh, uh, like some couplets for y'all to surprise you, and then I ran out of time. So that's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day. But the surprise is that you don't have it right now. Yes, that's uh, the surprise. surprise. I don't have a couplet. Surprise. <laughs> uh, hey, Jasmine. What's up? Okay, so. Would we like to do character hey. introductions in plot as you run into each other, or would you like to introduce yourselves first to the. Um, Gang. I think it would be fun to do like a general introduction because I don't think I at least think my character is not gonna tell her life story to someone. I am just re-noticing how potent your look is. <laughs> <laughs> like seeing it on stream. It's nice, right? Uh, but uh yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I like that idea. Also, I wanna say real quick, Cass, I support your decision to become a dragon. Yeah. For real. Dragon power. Power. Oh. Um, Try not to get slain. Yeah. <laughs> Don't um, trust princes. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Mm. They're just there for glory. It's not even about you. Um, Thank you. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you want to do basic intros first? Yeah. Alright, Calibra, okay. would you like to start that? I will happily start. Um, I will be playing... Oh. Oh, yes. oh, go ahead. I will be playing Yali Montilis, the daughter of Shengo, the Santorian, I believe, king of the gods. Though I'd have to recheck that again. Um, basically, god of uh, the priest king of the gods. That was it. Um, and thunder and a lot of other things. And Yali is his bandit daughter, meaning she fights for against fascism and things like that. She's grown up a child soldier in a militia group that is fighting against fascism worldwide and has recently taken control of that group and is leading it around under the banner of Shango fighting for people. Yali. Yali is like so heroic already. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm playing Calibra Overdome. Not quite as heroic. Uh, she is one of the many, many scions of Dionysus, but she's a little bit of a peculiar one. Um, so she, in in my interpretation of the lore, I don't know if it's completely this way, but like 
I, in my interpretation, Dionysus spawns a scion once a year in a big orgy festival, sort of, mm. and um, and then when that kid's twenty, uh, he goes on like a quest for them. And other than that, nope. But uh, so I grew up in Kalipa grew up in a dance club um, because that's where it was set, and she very early on learned like all things or arts all things theater and she's always tried to throw a great party but somehow people just don't have the right idea of what great parties are like it's their fault we're like halloween but no one wants you know spiders to just fall randomly on them in february it's just it doesn't make any sense so no one's with Ooh, you froze there on me and therefore on you How does one get invited to the festival? To the Dionysus festival? This is a different camera. That's for them. I mean, it's just my green screen, it's fine. Hi, Oblivious Panda. What's up, friend? Um, No need to roll for initiative, because one, we haven't started yet. But also, I don't play combat-centric games, typically. Let me just hide this. <laughs> Should I just hang up and then call again? Oops. Hello. Are you unfrozen? Hello. Okay, you're back. Um, sorry, you froze while you were talking about spiders falling from the ceiling. Ah. Well, I want to say real quick, I am happy to take applications for my father at the end of the session. Um. <laughs> I'm very one percent me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so she basically never really uh, understood the whole Dionysus party and well uh, obligation, but her dad has mentioned to her that you can become a god, so that's her goal. She wants to ascend to Olympus because Earth is full of Philistines. Um, <laughs> full of Philistines, yeah, that's fair. Um, She's been a little bit disillusioned with the party scene, so she's currently trying out performance art. Good. Good. Performance art, excellent. <laughs> that was that was a whole performance by itself. Y'all should pay for that. Um, money, just drop it out the door. Um, okay, let me check that, Caitlin. One sec. Uh, he doesn't want to go to Olympus. Um. But only yes. Like Zeus repellent prey. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Put Zeus on a leash. Let's do a quick player intro for people who have never been here before. Um. Hi, I'm Sabrina. I'm the DM. You can also call me Void. The safest pronouns for me are they them. Um. She, hers, usually fine, but sometimes it's not. So they is the safest. Ladies. I am Beautiful. I'm one of the players, and I greatly enjoy being a player. And uh, she, her. I'm Leia, boss. Wife, you. Wife. Good friend, you. Um, and pronouns are also she, her. And yeah, I am excited to improvise. I, I'm big on the improvisation. Shaky on the rules reading. Yeah, yeah, same. Big on intro, shaky on rules reading. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I'm like rules person of all of us and that's okay <laughs> well i yeah mm, yeah mm, thanks okay i'm sorry you guys have been staring at like the wrong thing uh not you them okay uh <laughs> see the reason i wanted to write the couplets is so it would give me like an obvious thing to start with because you know it's always hard for me to jump in all right we're jumping in doing it our story begins 
in in June of 2020, uh, quick, uh, quick, quick thing right here. Uh, y'all, Scion is like a side pocket universe where, you know, gods are real. So even though we're going to start in a real place, this is not a real story that we're telling. And, uh, please, uh, we're incapable of resisting, uh, doing political statements in our role play. That's just the life that we all live. Um, and they're going to pop up. So I, I do not apologize for putting questions in your head. And, uh, I don't think they will either, but please... Don't come at us about inaccuracies because they're just not going to be that accurate. I will just start doing this at you, yes. <laughs> just stuck in a mind box. That's a She can't hear you. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Who? Huh? Who? What? Okay. Probably going to hate you or love you. I can't tell <laughs> Right? I, I don't know it either. We'll find out. Anyway, so our story begins in Seattle. It is June of this year. Um, recently, events have led to people building a community in the center of Seattle in the Capitol Hill zone. And it's called Chaz, the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. Um, Chaz is in danger of being split by people who do not want it to be where it is. Um, it is a non-police zone in the middle of Seattle. Um, and it would like to be protected from people who want to come inside and start a ruckus. So a certain uh, city councilman put in a call, to, not the Berenstein ones, the Berenstein ones, yes, um, put in a call to a dear uh, sibling, just, you know, wondering if they were willing to pay for the flight tickets for them and their crew, if they could come over and be one of the team's standing guard at the, the 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 autonomous zone barrier just you know there to make sure nobody comes in to start any trouble just to deter people from coming in so that's where we start we're at the border of the autonomous zone um calibra is currently standing guard um calibra your ladies are nearby um you are at the one of the main thoroughfares entrances of this area there are barricades blocking uh, cars from coming in Wait, you mean Yali or Calibra? Uh, Yali. <laughs> Calibra's not. Okay, I was Sorry. Like, <laughs> I, was like, I don't do that. Yali. I Sorry. I thought this was my story. <laughs> Yali. <laughs> it's definitely your story. Uh, Yali's brother, half-brother, gave Yali a call. I was like, could you just keep, could you do me a favor? Just in case any trouble starts up. Um, they're not super close. They've met like once. But, um, right. I think for the most part, my girls are just armed with their, uh, pistols rather than full on AK-47. A knife or, or, or two is not a miss, of course. Oh, yeah, no, of course. Um, yeah. you, however, do you have your, like, serious weaponry on you? I got uh, bayoneted Remington from World War One. Excellent. Um... This gives a very strange feeling to the people around you. Certainly, it's enough to dissuade anyone who wants to come in and cause trouble. They're like, the heck is that old-ass gun? I don't want to mess with anybody who has an old-ass gun like that. There's probably something a little weird about them. Um, so, you're standing guard at the main thoroughfare of this entrance here. There's a barricade in the middle of the road that uh, you and the other people patrolling can move for people who, you know, like, are residents there who just want to go in and out. But most of the time, the barrier is there blocking the road. So that's just where you're hanging out at the main entrance there. Um, okay. Calibra, you are in Seattle for a totally unrelated reason. You just happen to be in Seattle for something that you're doing that nobody else has any idea about, as usual. Um, yep. Uh, yep. Just... Wait, hold on, where's the other character sheet? Yali, you, um, you just see this person wandering around the street, um, quite noticeably, as they walk down the street, uh, doing something with, with a golden bowl in their hand, you notice that other people have a tendency to just, like, stop in their tracks and watch 
as she walks down the street. Are they in the zone or outside the zone headed towards the zone? She's approaching the zone, but in, in a way that doesn't seem to be deliberate. Like, maybe. Maybe? Yeah, it's a singing bowl, correct. Okay, I'm gonna turn to my, like, second lieutenant and just hold the fort for a minute. You got it! And then head out and towards, um, Libra. Just hold up my hand. I'm sorry? Are you looking for something? What are you sorry for? Stopping you. Oh, that's okay. I keep walking. Can I help you find anything? Well, it's awfully dry today. I was looking for raindrops. Only every raindrop song there is so far, and I don't know. Does this taste salty to you? It doesn't taste very salty to me. And I'm really sure my audience will know the difference of the salt measurement. <laughs> I'm gonna look around, trying to find an audience. Um... Oh! Oh, the audience in London! I've already sold out most seats of my Black Box Theatre. Are you Where's the cameraman so they can watch? Oh no! No, no, no! See, I'm doing a show with, um, waters from the most watery cities in the world. Not from the ground up, but the heavens down. Because isn't it all just a gift from the heavens? It's sort of a anti-religious piece. We're we're going to arrange them all in different sized bowls and let the audience try them. And from the salt level, we'll see which city they think is the most blessed and the least blessed. Based on how salty the rain is. Yes. Can you both me both roll me awareness and perception right now? Um, yes. Scion is a dice pool game, so you, they have attributes and abilities, and uh, their scoring each gives them an amount of dice. This one uses d10s. Anything that's an 8, a 9, or a 10 is a success. You need at least one success. The difficulty... 7, an 8, or 9, or a 10? Uh, 8, 9, or 10. And 10 count you. I think that's for combat only. I was just reading it in the fate binding and it mentioned that that's the way it ran, but Oh, I, don't I know. think that's just for fate binding. Yeah. Um the rest of the time it's eight, nine, or ten. <laughs> Why are you scared, Shade of Scientist? Oh my god. Nothing. I got nothing. Didn't roll? No, I rolled, but I got nothing. Okay, so I roll one or you roll perception. Um you rolled perception plus I believe for you that's ten dice. And the amount of dice that you have. Oh no, I'm sorry. Five. Seven. You have seven dice there. You roll seven. Yes, you roll seven of these dice. But they're all. Alright. Now, anything that's in eight, only seven. nine, or ten. You sure sevens don't count? I don't have a seven. I know you don't, but I'm just trying to verify. Um, I got a I will look at one. it right now. Okay, I got one. Ah, okay. Everything that's a 7, 8, 9, or 10, or just an 8, 9, or 10, comes as a success, and you count your successes. Ah, that's a completely different system. Yeah. It is a completely I'm different so system. I'm so glad I studied it beforehand. A dice pool system. Uh, yeah, but here's a, here's a system you're really gonna like. Okay, you ready? It's called stunts, and it's whenever you describe yourself as doing something particularly awesome, I can just give you points for it. Ooh. I like that part of the system. <laughs> nice. It's like it's made for us. Ah, um, the obvious pain is a seven plus. Whatever modifier. So I have a modifier. Oh my goodness! Where's Wolf? Wolf. Seven plus whatever oh. modifier. Oh. oh my god! What's a void oh. shot? Oblivious Panda. A void shot is a. Oh, they already answered. Okay. Um, neither of them have epic perception. 
So don't you worry about that. Nope. I could have sworn I just read it. Though. I could have sworn. What? I could have sworn I just read it. Scion. All these pandas are seven plus, so I think that means seven, eight, nine, ten. But also, yeah. I might be biased. That feels kind of so like. My opinion. That's a 40% chance of success on each dice, though. That seems kind of high. Yeah, but it's most not... of the time the difficult rating is like 3, 4, 5. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Folks, it's not super important right now because no one rolled a 7. Good point. Right? Okay, I'm sorry. How many successes did you get? She got one. Uh, okay, well, that's enough. Um, you hear, uh, while, while you're having this discussion, like in the middle of the road because you're apparently incapable of like figuring out where sidewalks are um while you're inside the zone <laughs> you know what they are but i mean they don't, they don't really matter there's so many pedestrians right now um you hear <laughs> oh thanks obvious panda you hear the screech of a car it's very loud um you don't notice it uh, you don't notice it over the din. Only uh, Calibra does. Hmm. Acoustics in the street are terrible. Can you do something about those cars? And now listen and look for a car. <laughs> okay. Well, now that you are looking, um, it's coming straight for you. Can you roll for dexterity plus? Uh, no, I want to stop it. You want to stop it? Okay. Or stop it. The car is barreling straight towards you. You notice that uh, it's somebody behind the car is aiming directly for uh, the barrier that I said you can move out of the way if you wanted oh, to. I want to shove Kaligra out of the way and just pop. You're just going to stop the car? Okay. Yep. I, I don't know why I didn't expect you to do that. Yep. Uh, I all know I'm half a god. That's going to be athletics. strength plus... Athletics, right? Yeah, see, the thing is, yes, but I'm also, like, if you wanted to make a case for melee. Oh, hell yeah. Never mind. What I'm going to do, then, <laughs> is I'm going to do straight up oh, with the buttons. butt of my gun, just pop and try and jam the engine down to the gun. Oh, it's an artifact. With the bayonet, I'm going to try and stab through the hood and just park it in place. <laughs> nice. Excellent. Excellent, 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 excellent. That's ten dice. Excellent, excellent. Um, yes, thank you. Uh, uh, Wolf, you are not the resident rules lawyer. It's just a basic law, uh, rule that's we, we don't want to look for right now. What? One success. What is the success? What number is the success? That's the only question we have. Okay. All right. You have one success. Um. Mm. I do have two epic strength for what it's worth. Yes, okay, epic strength will, okay, yep. You know, I, I'm not super crunchy with rules anyway, so. <laughs> One success, you have epic strength. Um, you go to jam your bayonet into the hood, and that attaches you in a place that you are, you're, you're still stuck on the car, but you don't manage to stop it entirely. Luckily, your grip on the bayonet is really hard, so you lift your feet, and it, you just, like, it, as the car keeps going forward, you come forward with it. Uh, you manage not to get your legs scraped up because you lifted your feet and you're holding on real tight to that bayonet. Um, the person, you see the person behind the steering wheel is trying to look around you, but uh, it's definitely terrifying to them that you're just like, sub bitch, on top of their car. Bye. So uh, they slam on the brakes and just like yank at the wheel. So um, you're going to hit the uh, wooden barricade, but not hard enough that it'll, like, break. The car will stop. The border got knocked over. I don't know, I think you could probably do something. Just... Yeah. Thank you. Can you do something? Yes, Brand? of course you can do something. very strong singing ability to, to confuse the driver I want to let out the highest pitch I can possibly do which is like almost divinely high is that was that one of my I believe uh, absurdly high pitches was one of your things 
I don't know if it's your character sheet, but I recall you saying it in your background. Right. I get a plus. I have three points of singing in my ab in mm -hmm. my attributes. It's not epic attributes, but no, no, that's abilities. Your abilities. attributes. What attribute goes with singing? Um. Ah, so I actually have three successes there because apparently epic attributes give you automatic successes. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Well, you plant your feet and you push it in and you. Stop the car right as your back touches the, the barricade. I will take that. All right, singing. What's the attribute that goes with that? Mm -hmm. uh, it's an art attribute, so I imagine it would fall under uh, intelligence or charisma. And you definitely don't want it to fall under charisma, so let's go with intelligence. I suppose whether it's singing with passion or singing Actually, from technical know-how. Mm, stamina could also be singing. I do have epic stamina, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's call it stamina. And you have three other successes plus rolling eight dice. I feel like it probably actually says it in the character. <laughs> the, the, like. Um, that is. Yep. Oh my gosh, you're good with these dice. Yeah. I've got four plus three, so plus seven. Three. I was saying that. Sorry. I have, I have seven successes. Good God. All right. Um, everybody's distracted by the fact that this car that was clearly trying to do some damage and like hit some people is now screeched to a halt. You've got your gun sticking out of it. There's smoke coming out. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this like insanely high pitched like ah! comes out. It is rattling the doors. The car itself, you can feel like the vibrations of her singing coming up through the bayonet, the metal of the bayonet into your gun, and it's shaking in your arms. Uh, the glass, the the mirror nearest to you just shatters. Uh, the driver just like really confused, slams his hands over his ears and throws himself into the into the passenger seat. Um, then he tries to crawl out. Um, you're closer to the driver's side, so he tries to crawl out of the passenger seat so he can run off. Do you do anything? I want to grab him by the foot and drag him back out to the driver's side. Oh, I know it's harder, but I don't want to go that way. Sure. Um, can I get dex plus uh, brawl for that? Four. Is my brawl. One. So that's five dice. Oh, that was a fortunate one. Uh, one success. Oh, I got an eight. Two successes. <laughs> I have great in real life too, apparently. Yay! Um, you got two successes, you said? Okay, yep, so you grab his ankle, uh, you let go of your gun, rush around and throw yourself to grab his ankle. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, he screams and like tries to hold on to the leather of the other couch. And it's definitely causing a commotion. People are like, except for the people who are still like covering their ears and making faces at that horrific like screech they just sound. N nobody's happy about that sound. Just uh, nobody's having a good time all of a sudden. Um, Not happy, but they might be impressed. He's <laughs> Philistines. I'm guessing from the weird face that Luna made right before it. it it, it froze that something got knocked over. So I'll just wait a second there. New systems! Na 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 Anyway, how are you guys doing today? Am I a benevolent GM? Uh, as we've said before, benevolent GM actually just means that I want to hurt you emotionally instead of physically. <laughs> hmm. 
The epic singing killed Discord. Hit you in the feels, not in the guts, exactly. Hello, welcome back. Hey, I forgot to plug your laptop in, so it died. Oh, that's what happened. I was like, uh, it, it froze on a on a like <gasps> face, and I was like, maybe something got knocked over. No, fate was not in our on our sides this time. Uh, like Cass said, like Wolf said, the epic singing killed Discord. Uh, yep. Yep. It just yep. reached out into the fifth dimension and. Um, it's that good. So where were we? Oh, right, right, right. He, he screeches and, like, yells at you and, like, squirms around and starts trying to kick at you. Um, but you've managed to drag him out so that his knees are now hitting the ground in front of you. His, his torso is still, like, collapsed over the driver's side seat. What do you do now? All right. I want to pick him up and pin him to the wall and just say, Why are you here? Jesus. Uh, yeah, just look at it. Look at you too. Uh, can you roll charisma plus? I don't know. What would yes. that be? Politics? <laughs> <laughs> Investigation. <laughs> Is that investigating? I mean, you're not I mean, investigating, you're just questioning a dude? What is questioning a dude? Like, um, command? No. Empathy! Yeah, I'd say command. Command makes sense, yeah, right? Because I'm commanding him to tell me what, tell All right. me what's going on. Command it is. One, two, five successes. How, what? Five successes. Did did you did you remember to add your three from your four points from charisma? Yeah, that's epic uh, charisma. Well, my three charisma points. Yeah, that's uh. how I got five. Ah, oh, thanks, Caitlin. Perfect. Um, yeah. You, uh, I, I'm sorry, Ann. I was just trying to scare people. I just want this one out of here. What do you want? Who are you? Why do you have that gun? Uh... Because I am the security. And I want you to go, one, tell me who gave you this idea, and then two, tell them I'm coming for them. You're what are you letting them go? What do you mean? I got the idea from the newsman! What are you talking about? Don't you want to bound him up and see, maybe take a look at his brain? What? I want to Get use off one me. of my spiritual powers, actually. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pull a flask from my hip. Well, holding him up with one arm, and take a swig from it, which is my Gris Gris, which is my uh, Santorian artifact, which allows me to use uh, judgment. And my judgment power, though I have to look up how it works again real quick, is I can accuse him of something. Um, and I automatically know no matter how he answers whether he's guilty of it or not. OK, can you do you I don't remember what roll or not, though. Let me just check real quick. Do you remember what it's called? Control F, very it's, useful. It's in judgment. I just know that. Go to judgments of boons. Neurology can give you a lot of answers. I'm pro brains. Someone who understands me. Well, Cass, I'm going like a military leader, as I am a military leader. She's a military leader. Born to it, bred to it. Almost uncomfortably so. I'm playing around Scions and it's mostly pointless to approach combat in a system like in D&D. This character is dedicated to combat. Oh, it's fine. Anything. Wolf, don't worry about it. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> that makes, sense. makes total sense, Wolf, and I think that's what we're doing. Yeah. I'm not sure I caught up at the beginning of the conversation, but hi, Wolf. Nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, don't worry, we're more into storytelling than a uh, than, uh, crunchy combat. It's the, uh... Can you tell? <laughs> I don't think Leia even has a weapon. Uh... I'm sorry, you're missing my looks. I have weapons. I, I don't hey. I don't plan on making making a performance artist do any fighting. <laughs> of course, fate may have different plans. Uh, fate is only partially directed by the DM. Fate is also dice. Yes. Ah, it's injustice. The power is called judgment. It costs nothing, and the dice pool is perception plus empathy. I'm not terribly good at it. Um, ba -ba, the spoon. Empathy's hard. Feeling <laughs> just um, rolls perception plus empathy. If the role is modified by a supernatural or contested by a suspect, <laughs> one success on a success the sign can oh, thanks, Paul. intuitively tell whether the suspect is guilty as charged. Okay, so if I have a success on a role of empathy plus perception, I can automatically tell if they're guilty of what I'm. They're guilty of what I'm challenging them for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, then I am gonna just go for judgment, and I will challenge them that they were sent by someone, and I'm just gonna be like, "You were sent here." Success. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just had a dream about it. Okay, get off me. I had a dream, and I was like, "That's a great idea." Those people deserve to. Uh, oh my god. Okay, I can't believe I just said that. Fuck. 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 Hey, you're not gonna turn me into the police, are you? We should capture him alive. You can do a lot of interesting sleep studies that way. Hold on, you're in the you you you're 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 running this area. You don't like cops anyway, right? You don't like cops. You're not gonna turn me in, right? You just need a few machines. Oh, I'm so tempted to do something. Tell me, you're also an actor. Do you think Yolly would be brutal? Because I feel like Yolly would be brutal. Oh yeah. I'm gonna toss him onto the roof of the opposite building. Can I just like point out that uh I mean your virtue is literally vengeance, like Yeah. Okay, you know what? Actually Well you wanted to crash, and I'm just gonna skin him across the sidewalk. Whoa! <clears throat> cool. Um, yep. Mm. Actually, towards the wall that's on the edge of the zone. So like he thumps into it. Not to kill him, but to really mess him up. Your approach is very stupid. <laughs> Why do you say that? Well, you didn't get a lot of information out of him. You can't even use his body. You're just scaring him. Are you using it for your own sense of superiority? If he's scared, people like him won't come anymore. Because he'll go home to his little Nazi bar and tell them what happened. That's a very primitive idea. Don't you think it would instead stir up a collective sense of revenge and bring a bunch more? It's just as likely. It's the ant the theory, you know. You shouldn't kill an ant. They're families. They come together. I mean, he's not as good as an insect, but it's to be considered. What would you suggest then, random mime woman? Oh! Calibre. Yoli. Well, we capture him, tie him up. Maybe your best investigators can investigate him. I have some tools too for investigation. Is he still against the wall? Yeah, you haven't thrown him yet. Then I'm gonna go all the way back. I'm just gonna then pick him up and kind of to uh, my uh, second in command and someone else and hand him off. Yep, they're they're just gonna come over, grab him, uh, escort him to you know whoever happens to be running the rotation of guards at the moment. Uh, again, you're just one on like several te different teams that have shown up to like kind of help guard the perimeter for now. Um, I'm afraid yeah. that IRL uh, the zone has been dismantled since, but yeah. I hate that. It sucks. Yeah, it doesn't. It? Anyway. <laughs> So you are a superior. Yes. I have several people that follow me. I understand why you would need the confidence to make yourself feel superior then too. 
I am going to walk over and retrieve my gun from the hood of the car. That was impressive. Can I help you in any way? Well, if you can make it rain, sure. I can't. Good. Conversation over, right? <laughs> I suppose so. I mean, you know when it's going to rain? I'll pull out my iPhone and check. <laughs> <laughs> is it gonna rain anytime soon? Okay, well, according to your iPhone, it, it is not gonna rain, but can you roll for perception for me? Sure. One success. It's, it's a, your, your, your app says that it's not gonna rain. <laughs> You know, whatever, chances of overcast, blah, 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 Seattle. But uh, when you look up, y you notice that it's significantly darker than it was when you started pulling that guy out of the car. Looks like you might be in luck. Storm clouds are gathering. Seeing as you're very interested in making communication with me, uh, I will stay in your little city for a little while while it rains and maybe conduct a sleep study, help you with the investigation, and then you can have more social contact with me if that's what you want. I'm just trying to keep people safe and you stand out. Thank you. Also, good job. Who's your parent? You notice that the- Dana, I see, so we're currently not on speaking terms. <laughs> I remember you saying that. You were saying something, Sabrina? No, keep going, please. Okay. That makes more sense. Us? No one's ever told me that. Have you not met many of us? Many that would call me us? Wait, who do you- What group do you think I'm talking about? The Scion? It is quite pleasing that you consider me a part of us. <laughs> Why would I not, if you're a daughter of Dionysus? I mean, this whole thing looks very appropriate. It does? See, no one really ever thinks that I'm embodying Dionysus. Impractical, dramatic, you have a very... over the top. <laughs> Thank you. It's... I do like you now. I will, I will talk to you just for my own pleasure. Okay, then. Try not to make too much of a disturbance with the others, okay? Do they like performance? I imagine some of them do. Mm. Well, then nothing will disturb them. If they're all this nice. You notice that the wind is picking up. To a point that's unusual for this area. Okay, wait a minute. I have two points in prophecy, and I don't quite remember what that does, but I think it'll be helpful here. Oh, good. Let's find out what prophecy is. <laughs> Apparently, I can't spell prophecy. Oh, it's with a it C. Right <laughs> um, the player of the Scion with this purview rolls for intelligence plus prophecy without epic intelligence benefits, and he may do so once per story. If the roll fails, nothing happens. The player may try again. If the roll succeeds, the storyteller reveals some prophetic hints about events that will play out in the future. These hints should pertain to other significant plot points in the current story or large overarching issues that affect the cycle as a whole. The more success, the less obscure. Okay. Intelligence plus prophecy, that's four dice. That's definitely assuming that I have things prepared. <laughs> I mean, presumably it'll be like whatever the storm is portenting. <laughs> Impractical, dramatic, over the top. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh shit! Two successes! Oh shit, yeah. Mm. 
I wasn't planning on using it this much, but you know, it's, it's kind true. of the best edition. It's a great character. Bites up. Um, the crackle in the air tells you that not only is this storm going to be a thunderstorm, but it's going to be a heavy one. Um, you can, you. Before Northquake animals flee, um, y that same kind of feeling is what affects you. You, you, d mm, mm. thunder, lightning, everything frightening, you know? Okay. And it's heading it's straight for you. Okay. Can they check too if I notice it? If you notice the you storm? Don't prophecy. You don't have prophecy. Yeah. Um, you definitely notice the storm's incoming because you're watching the sky. So, like, the storm is unnaturally coming for us, you mean, right? Mm, yeah. Well, not you specifically, but, I like, the zone. I chance that you're here. Yeah. Do you people like getting wet? More than other people. Do other people? Well, if they don't, maybe get them inside. I'll be right good here. And I, I'm gonna sit down in uh, crossed legs and just hold my singing ball out. Cute. You may, want, you may want to get somewhere safe. I don't think this is natural. I'm always safe. Um, are you are you doing anything about all the people around you? Just, you know, milling around, having um, an order to do your day? Do I have to give my other people around still? Um, like your your lead and one of the group left, but you have four girls, so the other two are still around. I technically speaking have at least ten, but I guess I have four out with me. Oh, I just assumed you had four with I you. I have a lot of there. Um. Yeah, no, I like that. Um, then I'm gonna call two of them over. Yeah, because you're on opposing shifts. Yeah. Ten and ten. I want you to go and start clearing the streets. Uh, tell them what? I want you to go and start clearing the streets. Something unnatural is coming. Unnatural, like unnatural. Like the things that go bump in the night. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, what do you want me to tell everyone? Tell them it's a heavy thunderstorm. And be safe to get inside for lightning reasons. Man, this is Seattle. You think they care about a thunderstorm? Okay, I'll try. Um, Tell you... them we have reason to believe the cops are planning a raid. Uh, oh, okay, yep. I'll just, uh, yeah. Can you roll charisma and, uh, control and, uh, what's it? Command, you mean? Command, yes. No, control of automobile! Uh, yeah, command. <laughs> Vroom vroom! Um, five successes. Jesus. Uh, yeah, you figured out the exact right trigger word and what the person driving the car towards the banner not like five minutes ago, the barrier not five minutes ago. People are fast. You might as well have shot, uh, like a gunshot into the air. Uh, people are scurrying for doorways. Uh, you see the wave of, like, ground clearing as, uh, your soldiers move down the street. They tell the other Shoot. guards, the other guards tell the other guards, it scurries out. Quickly, everybody's getting shoved into houses. Thanks. I can use whatever I want, I'm the DM. Sorry, I'm yelling at chat. <laughs> It's bad for a leader to lie to their subordinates. Did you not know that? It's bad for a leader to get their subordinates killed. Oh yeah, that too. A critical lie can be more useful than a kill. Interesting idea. Are you just going to continue to be obtuse in the middle of the street while this is coming? I'm obtuse? Yes. How am I in your way? Boy for presuming. Where would you like me to go? Somewhere safe, unless you want to help? Oh no, I'm always safe. <laughs> Did 
Yes. <laughs> I got nothing. I'm gonna just tell my uh, people to like get everybody on guard for the approaching storm. Okay. Yeah. Um, you said you had four successes for that command already. Uh, everyone's clearing. Cool. Then I wait. Do you want to do yeah, anything? Yeah, I'm gonna. Later? Okay. So I have a thing here, right? I I have a thing that like um, extra thingies. I don't get hurt as easily, right? Um, like, you. Mm-hmm. You mean the special power you learned about? Yeah. It means if you get hit by something and you don't see it coming, you can ignore it. Okay. With a roll. I'm gonna keep sitting here, but I'm gonna close my eyes. Oh, that. so okay. That's hilarious. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, you're closing your eyes, so you're not gonna see anything coming. But you're still extremely sensitive, so I'm still gonna have you roll. I'm gonna have both of you roll again for perception. Um. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> If we all feel very, like, clunky with the system, it's our first time using it, be nice, you know, whatever, we'll figure it out, but the storytelling's more fun anyway. Uh, okay, so, perception, uh, actually, yeah, Calibra, can you roll ten dice for me and just tell me how many successes you get? That's perception plus a cult. Ten dice. Perception plus a cult. I combine attributes and abilities however I want. (laughs) Ha ha ha. Deception plus a cult. You get four dice. Yay. Oh, plus a cult. Okay. Then one more. So one. Oh, did you add in your arte? Wait, what? Not yet. What? Maybe. Okay, I have three successes of the ten dice I rolled, and then. Plus, you have. With arte, you can choose to add two more okay. dice to the pool. Does that use willpower? Or there? choose to re-roll. Do, do boons use willpower? Um, oh, I think you might have to spend a legend for that. Oh, legend. Ah. A legend. It uses legend. You get two legends per uh, session. Well, okay, you, you I, start I with your legend. Do you want to roll two more dice, or do you want to uh, uh, Ten dice is so many. <laughs> oh my god. Here you go. Or, yeah. Yeah, I have four successes. Nice. I'm gonna roll two. Nice. I have three successes. Okay. Um, both of you kind of feel the crackling in the air. It feels, uh, uncomfortable, uh, but familiar at once. You can tell that it is a deity, but, um, there's, there's a bit of, like, an energy signature that's left by the different pantheons that's just kind of, like, a trace of the, the different cultures and the different, like, once subworlds that, uh, created them. You know, kind of like everyone's grandmother's house mm-hmm. smells a little different. Um, yeah. Each Patreon... I like that metaphor. Each, each Pantheon has a specific kind of energy. And so, um, you both recognize that it is not from your Pantheon, although uh, you are not familiar enough with the energies of the others to recognize which Pantheon it does belong to. But there's certainly a cackling storm coming your way. Uh... It is not a natural storm. You can... Uh, actually, you can't tell. Uh, you can't tell, Yali, but... Calibra is very sensitive. And uh, through her adventures all over the place, has run into a couple of different people um, who were also scions and enough to kind of sort of be able to recognize their energy... So, um, you can actually tell that it's, uh, likely Norse in origin. Mm. Is any of the Norse gods, like, uh, Thor? Thor and Tyr and stuff. Um, no, Dionysus is Greek, um... I know, I mean, rivals. Oh, the rivals, yeah. Yeah, the rivals. This that will turn my reaction partially. Dionysus, rivals, Hades, Bombala, actually. Hell. Hell, yeah, it would be hell. Hell H-E-L. Hell, hell is uh, Dionysus' opposite? Really? I mean, I see hell in 
Helen Hades, but Dionysus. Most of the psycho forms are, from what I can see here. All right. Except for Papa Legba. Legba. He likes Papa Legba. Okay, so Hel. Um, and I turn to you and just. I think some extra safety would be nice. The Norse is coming. I want to check who my god's rivals are real quick. <laughs> To see my opinions. <laughs> First session checking things. We'll know better next time. <laughs> well, I picked the Norse gods for a reason, but not for a reason that people are going to expect, probably. But maybe they will. I don't know. We'll find out. It's not because I only know ah. the Norse gods, damn it. <laughs> I don't like Tyr. You don't like Tyr? Tyr's great. Okay. Tyr's like one of the best ones. Apparently I don't like Tyr. Whatever. Or Tyr doesn't like my dad. Tyr doesn't like your dad, your dad doesn't like Tyr. You know, some people just don't get along. Um, Wait, what is Tyr the girl though? That's not Jade. Um, he... I, I don't remember what his... I don't remember what Tyr's specific domain is. Tyr is the one who is willing to give his hand up for, for Fenrir though. I mean, ah. Of. Sort of. I mean, he's still... I'm gonna pout a little bit just... All right. If you want more protection, you should probably go inside the walls. But there's- Yeah, I will take you up on that offer. Secondly, um, the the energy is not necessarily, like, it's definitely from that, that world. But, um, is it godly oh, no, or is it yeah. titan? Yeah. You know, it might, it might not be. It could be a giant. Justice, thank you, Juicies. Cass. Yeah, I don't really trust it. So, do you have a nice room? I like the colors lilac, black, dark green, and a deep blue. I think the barracks we have set up is dark green. Perfect. And I start walking. As you start walking towards shout. the barracks, you're gonna what? Shout after her where the barracks is. <laughs> Give her directions. To the east, by the way! Turn left! And then I will probably lean up against the barrier and quietly clean my gun in preparation. Well, while you're sitting there and cleaning your gun, the, the storm rolls in um, quite quickly. Even in Seattle, when the clouds move quickly, it's, it's still kind of absurdly quick. Um, and right as they start reaching where you guys are, um, you notice that the thunder strikes are happening very quickly and very close together so very close together you hear them close together so they're coming quickly but they're also moving towards you very fast and soon you start noticing that the lightning is actually reaching the ground in a couple of places um, um. also this area of Seattle is definitely hilly um, and, uh, mm. you know, things, stuff. You want to do anything? Can I make another occult check? Another what? Occult check to see if it's, like, a creature I know or something? Uh, it's, it's a thunderstorm. <laughs> okay. 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 I don't know what I'm doing either, Leia. No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> Um, I also have my mystery power. I don't know if it's worth it. Nah, I'll just write it out in the barracks. I'm gonna slowly get into a more combat-ready position and, like, keep my hand on the engraving on my rifle that'll summon ten of my followers to me. Mm. Nice. Prepared. Prepared. <laughs> Are you doing anything? Um, I want to look extra cl watch extra close for anything approaching. It's the zone, you know? Mm hmm. Um, I would like to see if there's a gun lying around in the barracks. Oh my gosh. Okay. I can't shoot. Perception and in, in, uh, what was it? Investigation? Thank you for your trust, Jaded Scientist. It will go well. I think so. Um, oh. 
five plus investigation, that's six dice. Yeah, I might check the rivalry out the window too. Like, why aren't these people helping each other instead of being opposite if they have the same? Anyway. Uh, two successes. Three. No, it wasn't. Nope, two. Two successes? two successes? All right, you do find a revolver. It's a six shooter, so it only has six slots, but it is fully loaded. Why the crew that's staying in the barracks is leaving guns around fully loaded? That's going to be a thing that you should think about later. I'm going to have to have a talk with them. Poor gun discipline. Poor gun discipline. Yeah. What's, what, what was your crew doing there? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, since you're keeping an eye on the road... Yes. Since you're keeping an eye on the road, um, you notice that below kind of the the front, about where the front of the clouds are, like there's a torrent of rain and thunder just behind this cloud. There's like a sheet. You can see where the edge of the storm is. And right in front of the storm, there's a person dressed all in black, uh, black leathers, black like flat motorcycle uh, helmet. And uh, on a black motorcycle, and they're just going straight towards the barricade that the car tried to hit before, um, heading like for the car. In the sky, or oh, along the road. Sorry, driving along the main road. Oh, the storm is immediately how far behind away them. Are they? Uh, well, you just spotted them. They're like, let's say six, seven blocks. You're looking downhill. They're coming up the hill towards you. So less than two hundred meters. Yes. I want to shoot out their front tire. Okie dokie. Um, you want to shoot out the front tire while they're driving straight towards you and uh, the winds are kicking up. So, cool. They're, they're bringing chaos here. I don't approve. Yeah. Mm, I'm just saying the wind is really strong. So it's just going to you know add a little difficulty to your success. That's all. Would you count this as going along with the virtue of courage? Uh, no, because you're not in danger from from them yet. They're not close enough to you to be in, in for you to be in imminent what about danger. Order? Oh my god! <laughs> uh, no, they're just run, driving down the street. They're not doing anything illegal. What do you mean? Fine. Dexterity plus um marksmanship, right? Yeah. Good roll. Oh, yeah. Difficult shot, though. Uh, five successes. Oh, dang! Okay, fine. Uh, the... Wrecking all my plans. All two plans that I had. Uh, <laughs> this is why you don't make plans. Any plan you make will be wrecked. Improv! Uh, uh you... <laughs> You uh, mysteriously, miraculously, it's a shame that there's nobody out on the street to see this happen because everybody's cowering indoors like you told them to. But dang, I I don't know if you had your eyes open for that, but that was a hot shot. Uh, she, she just like, all right, kneels down, props up. You barely have seen the motorcycle, like it's just been spotted. Like, no, no, no. It hits the very front of the tire. Not messing around. Uh, the tire like spins around and then rips off of the uh, the wheel so now like you can see sparks shooting up of the, the metal grinding against the pavement and as abruptly as the motorcycle like it screeches and then flips and the person who was on it uh, acrobatically flips off they don't seem to be too hurt by it uh, they did not get trapped under the motorcycle lucky them and they're staggering back to their feet but it has stopped the storm surge from advancing. I feel like this is probably a maneuver Yali's known for amongst her militia. <laughs> I can see that. They're just like, did it again. Or they would be if they were. Uh, oh, no, the two of them are still with you. No. One of them just like lazily whistles. Go, go. Just like, woo! I'm gonna vaguely keep my gun trained on this guy as he approaches. But I don't think I need to shoot him again. <laughs> Not yet. Mm. 
He stands out on the pavement. He looks to his left. He looks to his right. Gets in one of the cars that are parked on the street. You see him disappear into the dashboard for a sec. Do you want to do anything? No? Okay, he's- put another round. I want to put another round into the, like, into the, um- Chamber? Windshield, like, just, if I could, to just, like, kind of graze the back of his leather jacket. Oh, okay, so you're like, trying to shoot into like, the car he just got into? that round. Yeah. To stop it. Stop him from fucking about. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, damn! Oh, wow. damn! I got fucking fire here! They are on fire! Another five successes. Jesus Christ. Okay, you you shoot straight through the windshield, and um, it actually just slices, grazes through uh, this part right here of their body as they, like, drop to go under the dashboard. Um, the windshield does not explode into pieces because windshields are meant not to do that. Uh, but there's a clean hole through it in the spider web, and uh, it struck him enough that uh, blood caught onto the bullet and hit the uh, seat next to you. You see the passenger door side open, um, and then you hear a thud, but you can't see the body from where you are. Okay. You're still about six um, blocks away. I know I have an ability called Holy Bound that lets me jump like blocks and shit. Mm hmm. Nice. I think I spend one legend for that, and I use my. And with strength, I can just jump like six blocks. So I'm just gonna basically force jump over to this guy. Does that use willpower points? Legend points. I. It's either willpower or legend. I can check real quick. I think it's legend. If you look up Holy Bound, seeing as you have it on your mm. computer, yeah, I find it quicker than me. <laughs> Holy Bound. Do you have the sky purview? I'm sure you do. Um, I also have the sky purview. Yes. But you have epic strength anyway. Uh... Yeah. Uh. I'm... Yes. Epic attributes, blah, blah, blah. You are a marvelous entertainer. A character must have at least one more dot of legend than she has in her highest rated epic attribute. Did you guys make sure for that? Uh, yeah. Um... I think Leia's actually might be out of order for that one. Mm. Oh, we'll take a look next time. <laughs> We'll I mean, some fine -tuning later. she does things so backwards that I'm like, okay with it. Whatever. Uh, are you calling us a trash fire? Hmm? Nah, hmm? Nah. No. Uh, oh, I think that's dice being on fire. That's yeah. what they said previously. Oh, that's funny. Those, these dice are on fire. Rolling in the dice. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I'll reread the rules for next time. Yep, I think it takes a legend point, oh, but I can't actually. find it. Whatever, it's fine. Let's move on. One point of legend or willpower? Uh, let's say, we'll call it legend. I feel like that's a legendary thing. Whereas willpower is something okay. you used to, like, re-roll, right? And I, yeah, or, like, if you mess something up, you have to spend it or something or like that. Or to, like, add but, an automatic um, success. I think that's legend. That does that. Whatever, we'll talk about this later. The point is, you leap. Well, we'll find this later. It's all good. Um, I'll spend one of my three legend points to do it. We'll just say that. <sighs> Sounds good. All right. So you you fly, just like fucking Spider Man, uh, Superman jump. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Um, land next to the car. Uh. Yes, at your feet, there is a person entirely covered in motorcycle leathers and a, uh... 
thing. Uh, a visor that is totally impossible to see through. He, it has a scratch right here that is bleeding from the shot that you shot there, but you notice that the blood is not red. Ooh. Can I yank his helmet off? Uh, you can try. He's gonna fight back. I'm gonna try and yank that helmet off. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. My talk. <laughs> I just realized. I agree. Wait, what did you just realize? That I could talk to this person rather than <laughs> just trying to demask them. But you know what? Yeah. Whatever. And we said we were going to play nicer characters for the ongoing campaign. <laughs> we did decapitate okay, someone before. To be nice. Kalibra's doing good. Kalibra is pretty to be nice. nice too. I'm not so sure. No. I'm trying to protect people that matter to me. Yeah. And this fool's trying to mess with the Chad. Damn. Good point. It's blue. That's a good question. What color is the blood? It's blue. Blue-blooded rich people. I didn't say that. I, I just said it was blue. blue. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, I want to rip that helmet off. All right. Well, Dex plus uh, Brawl then. Dex? Uh, I guess to get a hold of it, yeah. To, to, to avoid his slapping hands. I die so wrong fire. One success. One success. Okay. Um he He flails he fails and slaps at knocks at him and you're so busy getting the helmet off that you don't notice uh that he's revving up to do something. So um when the helmet comes off you also get kicked in the shins and spat in the face. Rude. I'm gonna just toss the helmet just like, oh, fuck you! Alright. Uh, under the, under, dang, under the dang helmet, you see a face that is extremely humanoid, but quite pale. Um, it grins at you, and you notice that its teeth are sharp. Um... It, it does not have the teeth of an omnivore. It certainly has the teeth of a carnivore. And the sound that it makes is not English. Nor is it a sound that sounds familiar to you, in fact. Um, but it's most definitely rude. <laughs> Can I use the butt of my gun to knock it out? Sure. That's going to be strength and uh, melee. Sleep analysis? Yes, actually, this time. Uh, five plus three, that's eight. I didn't say it, but we're thinking it. What? Oh, blue blooded. Um, oh! Oh, more than a little toasty to die this time. Now they're well grilled. Six. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> mm, yeah, you, you go and attempt to. Uh, knock him out with the butt of your gun, but you don't know this species. You've never encountered them before. And when the butt of your rifle strikes his head, it actually collapses in. Oh, God! Oops! <laughs> what? Yeah, so Oops. that person is toads dead. Um, the good news for you and the bad news for me, because now I have zero plans, is that uh, upon his death, the storm dissipates harmlessly. I really wanted to interrogate this man. Oops, a doozy. Mm. Well, when the storm does hesitate, the, 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 I'm gonna come back out. I will be shocked. Okay. And I think I will still take the body with me. Because, like, the head is crunched, right? Not, like, ash. Uh, it, it kind of, like... Have you ever punched, like, thin ice? Or, yeah. like, hit thin ice with something? The way that that breaks, that's how it broke. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, like, as if there was nothing in it, and the skull itself was just, like, an icicle. Okay, so, like, there's just a blank front, and it's, like, an empty paper mache thing? Well, now that you've cracked it with the butt of your gun, yeah. I'm just definitely bringing the body with me then. Ice cool, man. Creepy shit. Did it rain? 
No, no, it did not rain. Hey, did the dead body fall off from the sky? Nope. Um, this man was bringing the storm, and he's dead now. <laughs> it thought it rained. It rained a little. Why didn't you call me? Yes, the rain never reached the commune. <laughs> So why did you kill them? I didn't expect it in the rain, and I was kind of hoping just to knock them out. Oh! So you're careless and a little bit cruel. Can I- can I dissect him? Can you dissect things? It, everyone can dissect things, <laughs> I, I can do it well. <laughs> sure. Let's bring him back to the barracks. Okay, don't touch me though. I feel like you're a little bit creepy. I wasn't planning to. Okay, I want to take the body from you. No! I want to try anyway, what do I have to roll? <laughs> I'm gonna take it from you. No! I'm gonna try. Roll for it. Strength? Yeah, uh, both of you rolled strength plus brawl. So Let's I see who wins. Brawl. Two you good. have two. I have two dice, so you know. This is gonna be great. I don't think you actually can beat me. Well, let's try anyway. Ooh, I love that. Okay. I have one success. I have two successes. <laughs> That's nice little vibes. <laughs> Needless to say, you do not succeed. Stop! stop. You said you would touch me again! You're trying to take it from me. Let me get it to the place. You said I can dissect it. Not in the middle of the street. Why not? Because most people here don't know about piñata faces. Oh, you want to keep your integrity as a leader and not as a brood of weirdo. My followers know that I kill people. Well then what's the problem? Most of the civilians don't know about piñata face people. Monsters. Are the civilians your followers? No. Oh. Okay, if it's an image thing, it's fine. Take it somewhere in a nice room. So, I prefer walls that are dark blue, dark green. I wish I remember the other things I said. Oh, good, you remember. I'm going to take it back to the barracks and lay it down on a cot. Uh, okay, so while you take the body inside, before you follow inside Calibra, you notice that uh, the people that you were talking about, the civilians that uh, got driven off the streets because somebody was going to come to cause trouble, um, nothing has happened yet, and uh, they're all, like, th not all of them, but you notice quite a few faces looking out through the window. Um, they look concerned. They're maybe not sure it's a good idea for them to continue doing this thing that they're doing. Um, many of them are not residents of this area. They're just sheltering in the houses of residents for the moment. So you may have a branding problem. Them. Yes, in fact. Uh, and they I are... Them. They, uh, a couple of people like awkwardly wave back, but mostly they Can look I confused. Do a magic trick? Can you do a magic trick? Yes, please do a magic trick. Can I do a magic trick? Okay, cool. Uh, then I'll just pull a bunch of um, like the little little handkerchiefs out of my sleeves, and then go this, and then I have a bit of flowers, <laughs> and I want to hand it to someone. Uh, a uh, 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 well, they're still indoors. Uh, a small child does like start opening a door. And you're like, huh, flower? And then uh, immediately gets pulled back in, and then the door gets shut. Uh, nobody's coming out to, to see you and take them from you, I'm afraid. I leave it on the doorstep. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. Yes. I can spend a point of legend to do what's called inspirational figure, where I can give a speech and it like supernaturally inspires everyone who can hear me. <laughs> Oh great, because these people need your morale. Exactly. So I'm just gonna like... My morale didn't work for some reason. I'm gonna hand the body over to uh, Chandibal. No, not Chandibal. Um, <laughs> Calibra. Calibra. Okay, if you, you, if you do that, I wanna immediately put it down and start dissecting it. Oh my god! 
beforehand, I'm gonna go take it to the barracks. To the barracks. I will comply. Thank you. Do you actually and comply? Then turn to the people. I'm sorry, do you actually comply? Yeah, I actually comply. Sorry. Okay. Then turn to the people and just. The danger has been handled. My people will keep you safe. What you're doing here is an honorable thing, an important thing. Never give up. Because we are fighting for something that matters here. Something important. Somebody, yes! Freedom. From a balcony. Life and liberty. And we will not let fascists shut us down. Yeah! Do you know that he's a fascist? Yes! All right. Well, people are gonna start coming out on the street again. Relieved. You got a couple claps on the shoulder. Um, meanwhile, in the barracks. Nice. Yes. I wanna, I wanna use my, my arete, arete in forensics, and that gives me five forensic ability. Right? Either five or as a reroll. Okay. So I have. Ten total. Ten total? Because intelligence. Ah, okay. I have ten dice. <laughs> I'm very good with dissecting. Creepy. I love it. I'm very into this. <laughs> no one needs to have that love. <laughs> uh... <gasps> Damn! Seven! Seven success! Apparently you're all of Jaded's nightmares. Oh, you say all nothing of that them. often. <laughs> Stuck. <coughs> Excuse me, you got seven successes on that forensic roll. Okay, so you're fired. <coughs> um, you you uh, peel the motorcycle leather leathers back on this uh, body, and you notice almost immediately that it is colder to the touch than you would expect a normal body to be, even if it is dead. Um, the tools that you normally use for your dissections are not working quite as well as you would want, because it turns out that a knife that's made to cut through flesh is not so excellent when you're trying to cut through ice. Um, once you peel the body open, you realize that the entire skeleton is made of ice, of like just like hard but brittle um, ice um the entire skeleton is like that there are internal organs but they they're like they look more like jellyfish organs than they do human organs um does the ice taste like water you, are you gonna lick the body are you licking the outside yeah. of the body or the bones the outside okay yes i'm expecting that sentence to end with to start with <laughs> so yes yeah seems to be some kind of thunder creation that is fantastic for my art project not if it melts first <laughs> I wanna okay can I see perception if I find something that could keep it cool yeah. Okay. Um, that would be perception Five. and investigation. Six. Okay. Or perception and awareness, because you're not trying to figure out what happened. You're just looking for a box. So roll seven Wait, dice. Seven okay. Seven um, dice. Okay. So you're already killing it. Five. Oh, I know how to handle this. There is a meat dryer, um, a, a meat freezer nearby because you need, you know, a lot of rations when you're, uh, when you've invited like five or six different militia groups to come in and protect people. So, um, provided by that same politician that invited you over, there is a, a meat freezer and, uh, <laughs> Yoli, you watch as Calibra licks the body, then hmm, to herself, looks around, waters over to the meat freezer, and then just starts taking all of the meat out of it. Yeah, I, I throw it out. 
Like, I throw it over my shoulder. It's for science! Did you find out anything useful? Oh yes, it seems to be a thunder creation. It was a sentient person, there were some organs in it. But also, it was completely made, the outer shell was completely made out of water. Ooh. Liquefied water, ice. So I believe maybe the thunder created it itself. Wait, how can you confirm that it was sentient? It had organs. Organs don't make you sentient. My dad said they do. <laughs> <laughs> he said I'm sentient too because I have all organs. Sentient because you can think. that you wouldn't want to accept the sentient seeing as your guilt in killing it brutally and immediately. I'm not guilty. <laughs> I've killed people frequently for a long time. I don't care about that. Oh, you are very creepy. And you're That's judgmental. Kalibra calling other people creepy I'm is observant. like my favorite. I'm very observant. Listen. If you're so committed to being a terrible person, why are you trying to lead a commune of freedom? I am not a terrible person. I am protecting people. Not everyone. No, correct. Not everyone. Everyone should be protected. Only people that are made out of flesh and prove their sentience with more than organs? No. If that man was coming here, with kind intentions, I wouldn't have shot at him. If? Yes, if. What were his intentions? He was bringing a storm, driving here on fire. He tried to steal a car. You must be awfully mad at the weather, too. Also, you broke a car earlier. Yes, but he was steal. It was a car that was trying to ram us. <laughs> Okay, well, I will be sure not to steal anything so you don't have to bash my head in. But your morals are very questionable. I'm letting you stay in my barracks. Yes? Well, it would be impolite for you not to. <laughs> Do you at least know what the thing is? It's a contortion of the thunderstorm. I just went over that. It's an ice person. It was probably created somewhere in the humidity of things. Okay, but what is an ice person? Who sent it? Why is it here? Useful information. Oh, yes, that's the kind of information that you get if you ask them before killing them. <laughs> I agree, that would be very interesting. Ooh, that's cold. You could get an autopsy and find things out. Yes, like that it's an ice person. I also discovered that he'd make a great addition to my performance piece. He would. You can't take him. Yes, I can. No, you can't. While this conversation no, continues, you become noticeably aware of the fact that uh, all uh, three of the members of your team, of Yoli's team, that are in the room with you right now are just like watching you. Looking at each other, watching you, looking at each other, <clears throat> stifling some faces. Because it's evidence, it's important. We would need to hold on to the body just in case. Oh, come on. You can't talk about evidence now after you were just going to kill the other guy with the car for fun. I was, I was going the one to kill who him. him. I was going to scare him. How did you just randomly kill people that scared me? I didn't randomly kill him. You killed this one. Not randomly. It oh. was a fight. You really are not very certain in your decisions, are you? You're getting awfully upset. I know exactly what I did, and I know exactly why. What do you want from me? I just want your meat freezer. Okay, but you can't take the body. Okay, I, I understand that you are not letting me take the body unless a full investigation has been 
conducted. That's not a problem. I will just go over it again. I can find out more. Okay, find out more. Great. Not as much as I could have if it would be with a lie, but... Why don't you go and see if you can kill some more people while I handle that? A lie was not a choice. He was an opponent. That is not how this works. Okay, well, I will not continue to talk then, because I see you don't give your opponents any chance to talk, and I don't want to jump into that slide. You're not an opponent? Yes! Oh <clears throat> oh, uh, hey, hey boss hey <laughs> not to interrupt this uh astounding conversation you two are having but um people outside seem kind of stressed and uh i'm just wondering what you want me to tell them or whatever i mean they really liked your speech they're all coming out and sending back up and stuff but uh you know Can you tell them the problem has been handled? Yeah, but like... This isn't coming from me, per se, but I'm just saying maybe it's like the kind of thing that you want to have a bonfire and uh, some, some beer after, you know, maybe? Okay. Um... Um... Come up with a name. Come up with a name. Rally up Sandra. You know she's good at organizing events. Um, get a bonfire going in the center area. Share some of our more lighthearted war stories. Give some inspiration. You know, that sort of thing. Boss, these are civilians? <laughs> I, I said lighthearted, right? Very competent. Uh, <laughs> you know, I I'm not I'm sure that I'm really. Uh, uh, the members of your crew have the same kind of life as you've lived. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, she's like, I don't, I don't know if I'm the right person. I, I don't know if Sandra and I are the right people to take care of that. Uh, not really sure what people here consider lighthearted. <laughs> Give me a phone. I'll call my brother. Oh, okay. Uh, yep. It's gonna go. Yep. <laughs> you have like one phone between all eleven of you. Uh. You know, I believe that. Frankly, we have walkie-talkies. Yeah, yeah. Part. You have walkie-talkies to connect to each other, and then you just have one phone for everyone. It's it's like, like... really high-end, long-range one. Yeah, it's always in the barracks. Uh, they go get it. They're like, uh, I don't really feel comfortable talking to your brother. So here you go, and they hand it to you. No, no, I'm gonna give him a call. Don't worry. Okay. I mean, maybe the, the I'm gonna maybe the like clown person should throw the party. That's a great idea once they do the investigation. I love it. Inve okay. They're, they're trying to look at the... It's... Whatever, whatever. I I'll just go tell Sandra that we're gonna prep for a party. Do this every time? Okay, okay, bye. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The it's thing... Fine. To... I'm not mad. She's, she's great at following orders, like, while... You guys are doing missions, and not so great the rest of the time at being a professional, like, a military person. You're not military, you're gorillas. As long as, you know, yeah, she's doing our ops fair. right. <laughs> just, when, when this scene's done, I want to do a couple more rolls on the body. But, no, the scene's yeah. done, I think. I think that's the end of that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, yes. I want to do a, uh... Another investigation, right? Mi okay, I want to do a mystery check. So I have the legendary ability to... I think I have one legend point left, and I can ask you one question, and you have to answer it directly. You have to make a roll for it first, I think. But okay, let me on. find that out. No, and... answer me! <laughs> okay, fine. Because um... I think you can actually ask more than one question if you roll well. Really? Yes. Okay, well then I'm going to go roll well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Roll intelligence plus mystery. Okay, so seven. 
the player without adding it, editing, you don't have it. And for each success, you can ask a specific question. Ah, nice. Okay, I will do that. Then. One question per success. Yep. And you have to answer it as directly and honestly as possible. I see that. The storyteller need not expound upon his answers. They can be quite terse and to the point, in fact. Oh boy, that's a bright light. Oh, too bright? Oh, God. Oh, God. You no longer exist! <laughs> uh, I have a light like that. It's pointed at my white wall that then bounces on me, and it's still this bright. Ah. Uh, right. Uh, four. Nice. Damn. Okay. Um, my first question is. I'm sorry. That question was muted. I didn't hear it. Oh. Uh, my first question is: Was that thing sentient? No. No. Okay. Um, created. Was it created? Is that what you asked? Oh, did the thunder create it? Is that what you asked? Oh, um, so. no. Yeah. Um, you, it just like cuts out a couple of words sometimes, usually at the beginning of a sentence when your oh. mic recognizes that you're talking. Um, it's Discord. Uh, mic. Right, 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 right. right. Okay. Yeah, it's Discord. Um, it was not created by the storm. Okay. Did it have malintentions towards this camp? Yes. Ah, I'm looking more competent day by day. <laughs> um... Okay, this is going off an assumption. And if that's like true, not true, just say no, but. Did the Norse god that sent it have malintentions towards this camp? Did or the anyone did the Norse character that sent this this creature have malintentions towards the camp or someone in it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. <clears throat> um, when you're done with this event planning, I have done more for your investigation. You really have to make it seem so childish. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. I am using advanced forensic and occult and my mystery connection to the universe to find out details. That is not childish. Oh, I thought you were making fun of me. Hey, so do you want to know or not? I do. Sorry for calling you childish. Okay, well, out your conscience is completely innocent. Yes, I know. This person was intending to uh, cause us harm. I can see it in the spleen. Also, in the spleen, see, the kidney holds a lot of our consciousness, and the kidney doesn't exist. So it is a non sentient being. So you killed nothing. Um, that being said, if you look at the the completely ruptured belly button of this ice statue, you can see that the person that carved out that belly button, this person, has very mal intentions, either towards this camp or someone in it. No one carves a belly button like that and isn't angry. And you have connections to mysteries of the universe, yes? Yes. All right, I trust you. Thank you. <laughs> Someone from the Norse Pantheon wishes you or anyone in here unwell. Perhaps me, but I'm not really part of this. All right, then. I will give you the bodies if you can maybe go out and entertain people for a while. Can you do that for me? Yes, I would love to. What is their kind of... What excites them? They're scared and exhausted and just anything that would make them happier. So less scared? Yes. Okay, I can do that. Okay, um... I wanna... I wanna gather as many people as I can, and then go around and go... 
I am your comfort teddy bear, the teddy bear from your childhood. I try to give them hugs. Do you uh, have your ant people with you, by the way? Oh, do I have my ant people with me? Oh god. I mean, in theory, they're always with you. Okay, then I want to call in my ant people. Just so you know, the way that these people look, basically, is they're basically like giant, hunky, muscular men wearing, like, Spartan ant-esque armor. Nice. And I want, I want all of us to sing in a chorus, like, I am your childhood doll, and I'm here to cheer you up, and then try to hug people. Cool. <laughs> well, can you roll I'm I'm uh, charisma and uh, it's art acting? singing? Let's go with oh, no, yeah, singing. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, Three all? out of four? Yeah, I have no charisma. Wow! Um... <laughs> fucking dice on fire! Uh, I mean, on the one hand, you have three successes, and on the other hand, what the fuck? Um, you, you get a really mixed reaction in the crowd in response to that thing that you're doing. Um, Don't hug me, I'm scared. Seattle, uh, the Capitol Hill area specifically, is full of people who are all very different from oh, each other. Back, one sec, one sec. Okay. We're gonna um, stop in like 20 she minutes anyway. And she yeah, I've been there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it totally went down the road. Mm -hmm. I'm your childhood nightmare. Okay, be right back. Mm -hmm. We might just stop a little early. They're recovering. <laughs> she looks brown. It's purple. Wipeple. <laughs> I like to picture the ant people as having like little antennae also. Oh, I'm glad you're having fun. Uh, Cause my plan totally changed. The little plan that I had. Yay! Who needs plans anyway? Well, this is your uh, perfect time to take a bathroom break, y'all. Come back in five. Okay. I will be back once the choking has stopped. Sounds good. Um, I, I send them on a bathroom break anyway. <laughs> ah, good to know, good to know. I know no plan survives We're player so contact. Extreme, though. My, my plan was just, there's gonna be a thunderstorm, the thunderstorm is gonna wreck the area, and then you're gonna have to have a party and make everybody feel better, but then somebody stopped the thunderstorm. We still made everyone feel better, so I'm happy about that. We're not there yet. Uh, Wolf, I don't think any plan can survive, like, so much successes. That's true. Yes, the antennae are attached to the helmets. Like, so... They're Myrmidons, and what that basically is, mythologically speaking, is some ants got turned into, like, super strong soldiers. Regular humans when they're not in their armor. Though they have no soul. They're constructs, more than anything. And I know everybody's wondering this, because <laughs> of course everyone's wondering it. But yes, they can fuck. 
Uh. It says so in the book. That is. Okay. <laughs> and apparently if you have a kid with one that kid will grow up like a normal kid until they reach the age of about 25 at which point they'll become a soulless like soldier looking for someone to follow well that was horrifying um cool yeah uh... there's some spooky stuff in this universe <laughs> well now we all know it so go us Yay. Like, fate finding is spooky. Oh, I'm back. Welcome back. Sorry about that. Went down the wrong tube. Yep. Ooh, okay. Well, apparently, Calibra scared herself. <laughs> well, uh, you didn't scare everyone. You scared yourself, and you scared uh, quite a few of the people. But Capitol Hill is full of all kinds of people who are all very different from each other. And at least several of which are, like, wandering around in outfits that are not from our time period. Um, several? This is a Venn diagram. Most of the people in that circle uh, are intersecting with the people who are enjoying your performance. Um, I don't know what's wrong with them, but they're having a great time. Uh, I'm going to whisper to my aunt, this is the best show we've ever had. What a reception! Oh. Oh. oh, I love that. That makes me so happy. <laughs> so she's very happy. Having a great time, freaking everyone out. Um, the other half is, uh, you know, kind of clearing away from uh, the Thermodons and uh, and uh, Kalindra here, and they're actually looking a little worse for wear now. They're like, ah, uh, the inside is invaded, the outside is invaded. Maybe I should just go home. Uh, All right. Um, I will say I am going to gather up my people, send them out to buy as much beer as we can, like, reasonably <laughs> afford and have them distribute. <laughs> okay. Did you, um, did you watch the show? No. I think I missed it. I think I just assumed you did a good job. I did do a good job. Um, off to the side... <laughs> When do you roll for fate binding? Is that when you use legend points or when you use? Um, anytime someone uses a knack. Oh, it's a knack. And so basically, my holy bound. Anyone who watched that, uh, anyone who watched inspirational figure, inspirational figure, or the dissection. Yeah, I totally forgot to do fate binding. <laughs> eh, it's her first time playing. Whatever. So basically, for anyone who watched the inspirational figure, you would roll three dice, and if you clear five successes, someone will get, like, fate bound for the day. Mm. Depending on the strength of it, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, there's at least one person in that camp who really cares about you right now. The person. Or really hates me, possibly. Well, uh, I'm gonna say it was the person that was on the other side of the barrier when you stopped the car, because they were just like frozen oh, no. in the headlights. So yeah, they're a person. That's around. Oh, no. oh. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah. So that's where we're at. Uh, you went out to get some booze for everyone, and uh, I honestly have nothing planned here. So we can keep going, or we can stop here if you want. Have a, a like a debrief. Yeah. Um, I think the debrief might be a good call. I think this is a good stopping point. Um, we saved the day. My my bad for shaking briefly. <laughs> I will try to stay alive for the next session. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I prefer you alive. Thank you. All right, so um, uh, we're in Seattle in June and uh, the chat still exists y'all protecting it you did a good job stopping the storm from setting things on fire well done um, <laughs> mixed you. mixed reception on that party there um, somebody's a little more well known and somebody is also a little more well known uh, two very different reactions definitely got the um, everybody is, like, pretty fond of you, uh, uh, Yali now. Um, uh, everybody has feelings about you, 
Calibra, but most people are not sure what those feelings are, to be honest. Uh, a common reaction. A common reaction, yeah. They're all like... I don't know what to feel about most people either. <laughs> um... Hey, I guess that's yes. it. That might be true. That might be true. Um, Although it's usually not your players that are blowing the world up. Yeah, we're usually wrecking your plants, so... You know, yes. occasionally, though, I decapitate a player in one blow. Yeah, but that was like three different ones in a row, including one on a 100, so like... That was not... Yeah. That fair you enough. Can't <laughs> you can't fuck with three uh, critical failures in a row. Uh, um. And were you still gonna call your brother? Oh yeah. Oh yes, I was. All yeah. right. Well, well, we'll start with that next time. Sounds good. Write that down. You calling Perfect. your brother, and then we'll we'll see how the the party eked out. I like that the only reason that I'm here right now is because I want to keep my freezer corpse with me. <laughs> I'm bribing you with freezer corpse. Yes, you're bribing me with freezer corpse. Very successful. I mean, who could say no to that temptation? <laughs> Not any good party planner. For real. Or director. Freezer corpse is important. Yes. For any party. London won't see what's one won't one. Don't see what had it What's coming. coming. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, that body is made of ice. So you period. could use it to keep the beers cold if you wanted. I mean. Oh my god. Can you imagine just <laughs> three, like, child soldiers carrying around this ice body? Like, oh, one holding legs, one holding want the some, arm. Want some? <laughs> and the ice body is just stuffed with, like, 50 beers. <laughs> You know the jellyfish came in, he wants beer. <laughs> like, I imagine the child soldier crew of, like, Yali probably find it incredibly whimsical and hilarious. Oh, they do. I'm less sure about, like, the pacifists living in the Chaz. Well, you, your crew's like, I don't know who this weird girl is, but she's fun. And everybody else is like, <laughs> What's happening right now? Thank you for saving us, Yali. Can you stop being a psychopath? Uh, Cass, not everyone has your willpower. So, yeah. I'm say that. Yeah, not but everyone has your willpower. I could not, that. I could not say no to Freezer Corpse. I'd be like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll have one of those beers. Wow, can I keep one of those bones that looks like a rib, but is ice somehow? Wow, who did you guys get to sculpt this body? My gun. Uh, <laughs> crunch. And my ability to slice things open. All right, well, I, I read the from my spell for today. If you want to keep hanging out, feel free, obviously, but that's all I got. Um, I think I'm probably gonna focus on more not dying right now. Sounds great. <laughs> Don't die. I am frankly quite hungry. Go eat. All right. Fair, then fair. we but will it was see you. A lot of fun, and I'm really excited for the next session. I, I do hope our characters have endeared themselves to the audience. Yes, I mean, Jaded loves me. Uh, uh. I was definitely expecting you to just keep coming closer. Um. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to disappoint, Jaded. All right, my loves. Then uh, we definitely made an impression. I will talk to you later today probably <laughs> but uh everybody else yep. will see you Stop in it. a couple of weeks okay bye love you bye. Bye. Ooh, that's way too big nobody wants to see my face I that close up okay what do we want to do for the rest of today my friends we got all day and by all day i mean two hours I definitely didn't have more plans, so it, they were like, we're not feeling too great today, can we cut short? And I was like, yep, I was actually scared of DMing today, because I don't know the system very well, as you can tell, and I keep asking questions about it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Except for Wolf, who's just like, the fuck? That's not how you play that game. Ah! Thanks, Leia. You did great. What if I close these character sheets? What do you guys want to play? Let's not do anything too deep. That's all I have to say. Hey, oh, thanks, Jaded. Y'all are just saying that. Map, 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 What? That's in the wrong place. Map, 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 da, 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 da. Good job creeping you out. <laughs> yeah, Leia, good job creeping everyone out. Wee. 